Fiddlehead! <laughs> now I see everything. <laughs> Fiddlehead time! Hey, gentlemen, Joe lost his marbles. Dun 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 Okay, Fiddleheads versus Red Hot Dogs. Take two. Dun 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 Fiddleheads. Dun 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 <laughs> Remember the old saying, don't play with your food? <laughs> well, I'm playing with my food. <laughs> Red hot dogs. <laughs> Fiddleheads. <laughs> For lunch. <laughs> okay, everybody. You already seen the shark video. Red hot dogs versus fiddleheads. Well, that's what we're having for lunch today. There's no, uh, special, uh, moose meat today. The only special we got is fiddleheads. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Yeah. And... There you go. Preparing fiddleheads, everybody. Real easy. Turn on the tap. As you can see, there it is. The real brown membrane there that's surrounding the fiddleheads. That's the stuff you want to wash off. Now, buddy across the road here, well, a couple of houses down picked these this morning. Here's their open fiddlehead in this morning. 8.50? May 15 is today. So he picked them this morning. And uh, see how they, how they turn? Nice and green right after you take the membrane off. Let's find another one here with some more membrane. See? There we go. I don't think it's going to matter if you uh, keep the membrane on, but I think it's best to wash it off. Because the membrane protects the fiddle head from all the other elements being in the bush. See that? That hurt to prepare them. If you guys decide to freeze them, well, make sure you blanch them first before you freeze them and keep the original liquid or the water that you blanch them in in a bag so that uh, you can keep the flavor. Because we learned from experience they don't keep the flavor for that long. But if you're deep freezing, that's what you want to do. So you'll have fiddleheads for the summer. So May 15th now, June, July is two months away. You want to have fiddleheads for then? Here you go. Just wash them because you get blades of grass mixed up in there. Get all kinds of stuff. And Sing an Indian Joe song for you all. This one here is uh, dedicated for IPP24. Here's the one who picked them. Yeah, and the plant world is called ostrich fern. And if you guys ever seen ferns in the bush, you'll know what we're talking about. But for those that they won't even know what a fiddlehead is, well, I advise you to take a walk out in the bush and look at a fern. Or along the, uh, or along the river bank. Yeah. Or YouTube. Check out your video. <laughs> <laughs> that is your video. Subscribe. 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 Subscribe.
finishing touch to the fiddleheads. They've all been washed. There's the leftover membrane stuff. But there you have it. I'm going to put this on the stove and when I cook these, we're going to boil them up. Until they boil, cook them until they're soft, and then eat them. Plain and simple. Oh, I screwed up my speaker. There must be water in there. The speaker? Yeah. Remember to boil your fiddleheads for at least 15 minutes, people. You can eat them raw if you really want to. Yeah, Irvin does. He just gives you an idea how to cook your fiddleheads. Get some butter. Some people add salt to the batter. Or yeah, yeah. But just about anything you want, I guess. You can marinate in cheese after you want, or you can put salt, ketchup, and don't matter. Maybe jalapenos in there too. Oh my gosh. Or sauce, dip in sauce. All these recipes you can think of right now. <laughs> Just looking at this boiling fiddleheads. Mmm. Fiddleheads all cooked up. Time to get the meal ready. Okay, everybody. Mmm, look at those fiddleheads. Red hot dogs. Mmm. Yummy. Red hot dogs, fill his, some whole wheat bread. And stainless steel cup of green tea. Huh? Yep. And some pepper too. Put some pepper on there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here we go. And an Indian Joe song for this beautiful meal today. We give thanks to IPP24. That's his YouTube name. Hey, yo, hey, yo. There you go. Gonna eat.